This is Twit. One thing to look for, which I think is the most interesting thing about new operating systems coming out, a new version of Android coming out of Google over the next three years, is they're going to, I think they're going to be nudging us toward Fuchsia. Mm. And Fuchsia, Fuchsia is really interesting. My theory about Fuchsia is that years and years ago, they said, you know what, we really should unify Chrome OS and Android. We should unify them. And we should make it m both work sort of like each other and have, you know, eventually end up with one thing. And I think they thought that all the way through and said, you know what, if we try to actually merge them, we're going to have a mess. We're going to have we're going to have Windows 10 or something. We're, I mean, Windows 7. <laughs> it's going to be an, it's going to be a nightmare mm -hmm. of spaghetti code and mismatch. Let's what should an how should an operating system of the future be? And I think that's probably where Fuchsia came from. And they seem to be building this operating system that's going to be. Um, you know, it's going to be for IoT devices all the way up through enterprise uh, clients or servers, who knows. And it's going to have completely different uh, models for how it works uh, from today's operating system. For example, it'll have the Chrome extension-like feature. We talked about this on the show. Uh, I think you were on it, Jeff. You weren't on it. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, the thing that's interesting about Chrome extensions is they are features that are divorced from apps or applications or anything like that. Mm -hmm. They're yeah. features that are applied across different places. Fuchsia is going to work like that. So you you're basically going to have oh I want the spell check fi feature and it won't be spell check for Google Docs. It'll be spell check for everything. Anytime you have words on your screen, the spell check will apply to it. So the features will be all a cart. And so hmm. that's just one of a hundred different strange things that Fuchsia will likely be able to do. But I think that as over the next three years, both Chrome and and uh, Android will get Fuchsia-like features. Uh, because to soften the blow. To soften the blow. Get us used to exactly. it. Exactly. And, 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 and also, the switch. at some point in a couple of years, I think they're going to figure out how to get developers to write things that work on Android and also Fuchsia. So that once they throw the switch, your existing apps will just work on Fuchsia. That's just a theory. I have no reason there to do that. There is some sort of cross-platform aspects of it already, yes, if already. I remember correctly. Well, it, Fuchsia does run on a Pixel phone. Yeah, right. And it runs on a Pixel book. So Google's own hardware already runs Fuchsia. Of course, Fuchsia doesn't do anything right now because right. it doesn't so have any apps. For there's it, no right? apps and it's not even complete. And, and but, Yeah, it's, it's really, I it, mean... It's been earlier days, but it's still early days. But you see where it's going, and they're yeah. using their own platforms as sort of clearly as the as the growth platform where they're going to start this thing, and it's just going to be fascinating. the 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 rumor is that they're going to go live in three years, which means five, six years in, yeah. in real life, probably. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like a couple of years. They were saying uh, there, there was a report that said within the next five years, yeah. and that f still felt. Pretty right, quick, aggressive for aggressive yeah. considering what the the goal is, and I don't even know if that's that's not Google's stated goal, right? Like that's they just kind of what we've anything. come up. They they they've been very cagey yeah, about it, very. Um, but we, we we're all kind of left kind of grasping at straws, going, well, what is Fuchsia? They're public enough about it that we right. know it exists, right. and that you know, like uh, the news this week, Bill Stevenson, a 15-year Apple yeah. senior manager, uh, who actually oversaw the launches of all different versions of Mac OS, Lion through Mojave, is now joining Google. He announced on Twitter that he's going to be uh, he's going to quote help bring a new operating system called Fuchsia to market. Stay tuned. Um, so, I mean, the, in in some ways, you know, it's not it's not super secret. Right. We just have no, and and we've actually seen it operate. Yeah. And seen it in in, in you know operation. We just have no idea. <laughs> what what I'm, I'm excited because we're here. We are three Chromebook users. Um, well, yeah. normally, normally, right now I'm using an iPad. I think. Oh. Ne yes, Trader. It's, it's Megan's Trader. iPad. We're doing the switch. I can't wait to get my Pixel Slate back. Standard, uh, the standard uh, comment about right. that. I'm, yeah, I'm worried Continue. about you. Um, <laughs> You're gonna make but, it, but but I hope so. And they've gone, I think, as far as they can they can go. It's still, I mean, I've complained on the show before that if something needs any kind of content rights management, uh, it doesn't work. So Netflix is really flaky on on, on my Chromebook Pixel. Um, uh, it, the apps are awkward. You know, it's it, it's better, but it it, it it's it needs a new OS. Yes, yes, it needs something new to bring it bring it together. My fear is how much rewriting of apps there's going to have to be out there, mm. um, and how long it's going to take. You know, will Netflix say, "Oh, not big enough market"? Who's on Fuchsia, and we have to wait forever? 
Uh, that's right. the awkward transition time. Yeah. Absolutely. My fear is that we all think they'll do the thing that we want them to do, which is create right. a combined thing that will be re a replacement. But then I, sometimes I remember, wait a minute, this is Google we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, they, they are a company that... Um, they close the thing you don't want them to close and then they leave <laughs> so open the thing and they, you know how many communications oh. platforms do they have right now I mean they just keep adding things so yes. one distinct possibility is that they will never kill Chrome or Android and uh -huh. Fuchsia will exist and now you, they'll really well we just assumed this would be really great for your refrigerator for your connected refrigerator that's why we built Fuchsia we had too many uh, right. developers on Android and we wanted to <laughs> give some you know, half of them some place else to go <laughs> right. yeah. it's a 20% mm -hmm. project yeah, uh, I guess we will we'll find out someday. I, I feel like we're going to be talking about this with lots of guessing for a long time before we actually know. But I do think that there's there's some uh, you know there's some trickles, some nuggets there. Knowing that Bill Stevenson and his background is being brought onto the team, that feels like that feels like progress, right? right. Like he's overseen yep. the launch of major OSs. Yes. Um, so there's some dedication, there's some confidence there uh, as far as Fuchsia is concerned. I don't know how many engineers. I think the last time I saw in, in a report, it said somewhere around 100 engineers, more than 100 engineers, which sounds kind of sounds low. light. Yeah, me. light for a whole damned OS. Yeah, yeah. So who knows? But who you know, it's funny. It's is. funny about that is that is that it wasn't that long ago when we got all excited on shows like this that a new version of an OS was coming out. So fun. We talked about Q, but it's it's a bit of a shrug. Um, the OS in a, in a web world, the OS just isn't as important as it was in, the, in an app yeah. and web world. Yeah. Yeah. 